Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, give this a go real quick. Uh, so I'm going to pre-flight or plan uh, the next flight in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 with uh, my very imaginary company of Landing Bay 04. Uh, so I've done a couple of flights before flying basically from uh, just, just south of Dayton right here, and I've made my way all the way out to Akron, Ohio. Uh, so that was uh, going to be one of the more recent flights getting into the Mayfield Airport, which was real treacherous <laughs> for me. But uh, the mission that's going to be flown uh, is just a cargo run, 93 pound uh, cargo from uh, Mayfield and going out to, let's see if I can bring this up, out to, uh, where is this? I'll just say around New Manchester, New Manchester. So this is the runway, finally a hard surface runway. I like hard surface runways because it's easier to see where I need to land instead of a grass strip. But in this case, uh, I've got the weather, the Rex weather, that's given me semi-current reports of what's going on. So as of right now, uh, local time, it is at least uh, kind of in the Ohio area. Uh, the wind is going at 210 at 10 knots and gusts up to 19 knots. So I don't know if this is going to be the same by the time I get into the flight, but we'll we'll figure that out. And then kind of towards the Pittsburgh area, closest to uh, this airport over here. Uh, still some wind in the same direction, but it's four knots, a little bit uh, a little bit lighter. And in this case, once I come in, I'll probably do a flyover of the airfield and get into downwind, or I might just uh, stay outside of the pattern and just slowly work my way out here and coming in at the 45 into the pattern and landing on runway four. Uh, that should be the best uh, best approach, I think, to deliver the cargo. Now that's the plan initially, I'll say. And here we are, a nice 40, uh, this is about 50 nautical miles. And uh, I'm definitely going to be flying the uh, Cessna 337 Carinados. Uh, Cessna 337 has been my favorite since I bought it. I mean, one of my favorites, my most favorite is the uh, Boeing 247. It's the best one I think that's ever been made. But the 337 is just, it feels feels right. Anyway, I got into skyvector.com and also planned the flight because I needed a sectional chart to see if I need to avoid any airspaces and if I need to get clearance ahead of time through airspaces. And again, this isn't for learning or anything. This is just from what I'm rem remembering from years ago when I was uh, you know, training to become a pilot, but COVID got in the way, but whatever. Um, so just from what I remember, and if, you, if it needs corrected, feel free to say so. I would love to learn more about... Uh, the ins and outs and the nitty gritty of being a pilot. So that's, that would be great if anything needs corrected. So we have class Delta airspace, I believe right in here, right around Akron International. And looks like from this inner circle where I'm gonna be taking off from uh, one Delta four, it'll be from the surface to 5,200 feet. So, by the time I take off and get out, once I get past Alliance, uh, I want to then climb, well, stay below 2,500, and then once I get to Alliance, get up to about 5,000. I may do 3,500 feet, but if 5,500, if I can get to 5,500 between here and I would say by Minerva, if I could get, if I could get about that high, that'll be good, and then start my descent um, just north of Salineville, Salineville, right before East Liverpool, because actually right, right here is you know, where the airfield is. So, just based on the other map in Neo Flight. Okay, no, it's, it's a lot farther than what I thought. A lot farther. 
See, I think that should have enough time to get from 5,500 down. But going back to Sky Vector, uh, Salienville, I can't find any other... Well, there's the airport at East Liverpool. If I can spot that ahead of time and start my descent, that'll be pretty late because we may need to ask to get into the Class Bravo airspace into here. But if I can manage to get below 4,000 feet, so just get my descent down about 3,500 feet, I could fly underneath this airspace and I most likely won't need to request uh, entrance into it. And then once I get uh, you know, closer to Heron, uh, this airfield here, 7 Golf 1, I'll be able to get in and I'll definitely be below 3,000 feet, which is where it's closer in this uh, Class Bravo space. So that's the plan, if all works out, and I'll also be taking off uh, toward the north, northeast, out of Akron here. I don't know what run runways it this this has. Okay, it looks like almost ninety degrees. So I'll be taking off this way out from the way I landed. So I just probably start here, taxi out by this road. I'll probably pass this road. I need as much space as I need to. I'm not carrying too much, but then take off and deliver. So that's the plan. And then from the market, I did pick up some goods. Uh, apparently cigarettes. God, I don't know. Anyway, it was the cheapest uh, product that I could sell for a profit down in Heron. So I can make a little bit of extra cash. So that is the plan. It's already loaded, and then uh, when I load into the simulator, we'll go ahead and fly that route and see how it goes.